Good day, viewers. Dauda Malik is my name, and I'm a, your tutor this afternoon. In today's session, under normal distribution, we are going to look at finding our, our abilities. That is a Z score. So we are going to find a Z score. We are going to know or learn how to find them. So with a Z score, it has a formula. And the formula for Z score is value minus mean over standard deviation. So with this one, mathematically, it is written as Z is equal to S representing the value minus mu representing the mu and standard deviation. So you'll be given an example whereby you have to identify all these numbers, then you substitute them into this formula to get your Z. Very, very, very simple. So now let's try example on how to find the Z. So I have an example here, I will read it out. So we listen, then we identify the variables. After identifying them, then we solve for Z. So you see, an IQ score, an IQ score is normally distributed with a mean of 100. So with the question, the mean is 100. An IQ score is normally distributed with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. So our SD, that standard deviation is 15. I continue. Find the probability that a randomly selected person has an IQ score greater than 120. So we should find the probability that a person is selected at random and that person has an IQ score greater than 120. So IQ score, so score or IQ score is what? Greater than 120. So you see, this is my, our mean, this is our standard deviation, and the IQ score or the scores represent the value, that's the X. But let's see here, we are saying that the S is what is greater than 120. So when we are done with the answer, I will show you one thing. But take note of this one. Greater than what? 120. So we have our mean, we have our standard deviation, we have our X. So this is the S. This is, and this is the mean. So we just have to do substitution. So the formula is Z is equal to X minus mean over standard deviation. Our X here is 120. But here our X1 is greater than 120. So here our X is 120 minus the mean. That's the mean. The mean is 100 over the standard deviation. The standard deviation is 15. So here we get subtract, so it will be 20 over 15. So here, 5 goes here 4, and goes here 3. So 3 over 4. So this is our final answer, so 4 over 3. 1.33. So the final answer is 1.33. So this is, my, this is our final answer. That's our final answer, that's all, we are done. So we have our mean, we have standard deviation, we have your value. So you just have to do substitution to the main formula. When you substitute them, then you find your answer. But when you get this one, you are not done. Why? Because the question says greater than 120. So meaning when you finish and you get your final answer, you get your Z, then you have used your table to find this area. When you are done, because it is greater than, greater than means on the right of Z or on your right of Z. So, this I hope you understand. Greater than, greater than means on your right of Z. So, the final answer is 1.33. When you are done, then you look at 1.33 on the table. 1.33 on the table. So, me, I will use the computer to find it. So, on my right of Z, 1.33 will become, so I will just point then I will use my 3, that's R. 
That's R. So 1.33 so 1.33 on the table or on my calculator is 0 0.09. So 0 0.091759. So this is my final answer. This is my final answer. So whenever you are solving for z-score, the latter part of the question is where your answer lies. I'm, I'm repeating again. I'm saying that when you are finding for z-score, the latter part of the question is where your answer lies. And with this question, you're saying that the latter part of the question was that uh, we will find the probability that a person is selected at random and a person has an IQ score greater than 120. So that's the latter part of the question. And greater than means on the right of Z. So when, that, when you substitute the, the figures in the Z formula or the Z score formula and get your final answer, then you use, because it is on the right of Z, I will use my calculator, then I will use R in the calculator to find it. And when you are using your table two, you will find 1.33 on the table. And when you are done, because you are finding it on the right of Z, the answer you get is not your final answer. You have to subtract the area you get here on a table from one before you get your final answer. And when you do that, you get this same answer here, 0 0.091759. So this becomes your final answer. So that's how you find Z-score. Please, I hope you understand. Let's go to the second question. Then you see the difference between them. So with this same formula, let me read the second question out. So he said, uh, a cholesterol level of the United States was recorded, and uh, the mean was what, 215. So the mean was 215. The standard deviation, that's SD, standard deviation was 25. Let's see here, he said, you randomly select a mean from US. What is the probability that a randomly person selected cholesterol level was less than this this mean was less than 175 so we see here we have less than we have less than 175 so it's simple it means when you substitute these figures into the formula and you are done then because it is less than less than means on the left of z then you find the answer on the table that's where you get your final answer. So the z score formula is z is equal to s minus u over standard deviation. With this question, our s, this, this is our s, the 175 is our s. Because, so 175 minus 215. Okay. So, this I'm coming, I'm coming right now. Okay. So 175 minus 215. So the 215 is my mean over standard deviation. And my standard deviation here is what? 25. So I'll point this on the calculator. So 175, 175. Then. Okay, I'm coming, please. So 175. Okay. Plus. Oh, sorry, minus. 175 minus 215, 215. Then, then uh, divided by standard deviation. And the standard deviation is 25. So after everything, I had negative 1.56. So here, the final answer is negative 1.56. So this is my final answer for this one. So 175 minus 215 over 25. And the 175 is my x. My x here is 175. The 215 is my mean. And the 25 is my standard deviation. So after substituting all this one into the formula, I had negative 1.56. And this one is not my final answer. Why? Because the s is less than one point. Sorry, less than what? 175. So it means when you get your final answer, the use on the left of z. That's you use your table. To find it so finding negative 1.56 on your table i'll use my computer to find it so with my calculus 
with an ablator, I had uh, so that's negative one point five six. Okay, so I had zero point five zero. Sorry, zero point zero five. Nine three eight. So this becomes my final answer. Why? Because the x was less than one seventy five. And if it is less than one seventy five, it means you will find the z on the left, or you find the area on the left of z. When it's greater than, it means you find it on the right of z. This is how we get the difference. So please don't be confused. So that's how we find the areas on the standard normal theorem. So when it is less than means on the left of Z. When it's greater than means on the right of Z. So that's how we find the areas. So this is how we find Z score. That's the formula there. Then we've done two examples. So let's solve another final example. Okay. So assuming uh, we're giving another final example and with example uh, the mean or the average, yeah, the average was, the average was 45, the standard deviation was 12, and uh, the x value was less than, less than 25. So if it is less than 25, here let's do substitution. So z is equal to x minus mu of a standard deviation. So your z is equal to your s. So average is the same as mu. Average is the same as mu. So your value is 25 minus your mean is 45 over 12. So when you point this one on the calculator, the answer that you get, because it is less than 25, then you use what? Your table to find it. And then here, because it is less than that's on the left of Z, the answer you get on the table is your final answer. Or you can choose to use the calculator. You can choose to use the calculator to point it and get your final answer. So sometimes too, we can be asked to find X. We can be asked to find X. So that's what finding X. So finding X. And when you are asked to find x, x is derived from the z-score. The formula for the z-score is z is equal to x minus mu over standard deviation. So when you, whenever you are asked to find x, it means you have to make this x the subject. To make x the subject, we cross multiply. So it will be like this. So this one will multiply this one. So you get z cube. That's what z then equal to x minus mu. So this simple equation, we are grouping like this. So to make this a subject, we will send this one here. So we get z q or the z q then this minus when it cross, it become plus. So plus mu is equal to x. So whenever you are asked to find x, your formula is what? x is equal to z q plus mu. So whereby the z is your z score, the q is your standard deviation, and this one is your mean. So let's solve one example under it, and I think it will be okay. Okay, so uh, we have, listen to this question. He said, an IQ score are normally distributed with a mean of 100. So an IQ score is normally distributed with a mean of 100. So our mean is 100. And a standard deviation, so our SD is 15. He said, uh, what IQ score represents 98th percentile? So with 98th percentile, it means we have to divide the 98 by 100. So 98th percentile. Okay, so it will be 98 over 100. So we get 0.98. So you find this 0 0.98 in the table. When you find this 0 0.98 in the table, the answer that you get, then you substitute it into the formula. 
is how the game is. Yeah. So let's do a simple example, then we come to this one. So assuming you're giving a question and uh, with a question there, let's say the mean was uh, let's say the mean was sixty-seven. Uh, the standard deviation was four, and the z the z score was one point nine six. So you see, this one we've been given a mean, we've been given a standard deviation and a z, but there is no x in it. So because we have mean standard deviation and z, and there are no x in it, it means we are finding for x. So we just use the x formula. That's what x is equal to z plus mu. So your s is equal to, your standard, the, your z is what? 1.9, so 1.96 times, here there's multiplicity sign here, so times, your standard, your standard deviation is what? It's 4, 4, plus, your mean is what? 67. So here it's what? 1.96 times 4 plus 67. So I got the final answer is 74, so this is my final answer. This is how we find x. This is how we find x. So in a certain question, you can be asked to find the z or the x. We've learned or we've yeah, we've learned how to find the z score. And this we are finding x. So whenever you are asked to find x, it means you have to make s the subject out of the z score formula. So when you make s the subject out of the z score formula then you will be given the variables then you have, all you have to do is do substitution you substitute them into the formula then you get your final answer so please thank you very much for having time to read this tutorial and at least kindly like subscribe and share as well thank you very much